Hello everybody. Today I'm going to look at a CPF 2500 water filter for a koi pond and it's got a, a built-in UV clarifier. So let's just go ahead and get started on this. Okay what I have here is the CPF 2500 filter. It has a UV sterilizer built in. But what I've got here is a small koi pond. Right now it has goldfish in it. My ex-wife killed all my koi when we got the divorce. So I'll put goldfish in it to keep the mosquitoes out until I can rebuild the pond. I needed something to be able to clarify the water just a bit. The filter that I've got in there now, my waterfall usually runs quite a bit faster than that. But uh, the sediment is clogging that thing up pretty quick. So I want to try this and get the water a little clearer with the UV clarifier. I think that'll help. I'm going to eventually move this over behind the waterfall. You won't be able to see it. But for now, I want to see if it works. So let me plug this in. We'll see what kind of water flow we get. Everything's hooked up temporarily. I've got a one inch uh, tube coming from the pump to the filter that will be an inch and a quarter and then I'll have a uh, one inch discharge going back in and probably a three quarter inch to make it a little bit easier to maneuver uh, to go over into I've got a little uh, eventually going to be a little flower bed over there and that's where the discharge water is going to go to fertilize that well, let's see what kind of flow rate we get with this little pump that came with the kit Now it will take a while for that to uh, fill up. So when you first turn the pump on, if you don't fill the canister up first, it'll take a couple of minutes. But that's a fairly decent uh, flow rate off of that little kit pump. And I'll show you a little closer here. Okay, the way this is supposed to work, you've got your discharge diverter, and which will route the water over to this terminal here. This crank turns the filter. There's a series of sponges in here, and this rotates the sponges and massages the sponges to help flush them out. So you just turn the handle like this. The handle does come off when you're not using it. And I'll have a I'll have a three-quarter inch hose going from here over to the flower bed I showed you a bit ago. For right now, I just want to double check and make sure this thing works before I go to routing all the hoses and changing everything up in the pond. The UV clarifier, this little indicator right here lights up at night. You can kind of see it if you cup your hands on it. You can see that the uh, UV light is actually working even in bright sunlight. So I'm going to let this thing cook for about a week and uh, this is supposed to, if there is excess pressure, the filter gets stopped up, in other words, uh, this will come up. There's a little red plunger in there that's supposed to come to the top. I haven't seen that function yet, so I don't know exactly what it does. If I get an indication on that, I will let you know. All right. This has been running for a little over 24 hours. It's a different time of day, no sunshine, so I can't give you an exact uh, duplicate of what we were looking at. But I can show you, maybe, the uh, you can see a little deeper into the into the stalks on the lilies and you can see my other water filter so there's the other filter you can kind of see on the shelf on the other side but the important thing that I want to show you I'm going to reverse the flow on this now I'm going to have to move the discharge hook up a hose so that it doesn't just run back into the pond but I'll show you what what kind of results you can see there's not nearly as much water flow now as there was I'm gonna turn the diverter now the water doesn't look all that bad but I'm gonna start turning this handle and it's it's now cleaning the filter so you can see that is some really nasty water that's what's 
that's what it's taken out of the pond so far. So that is doing exactly what it's supposed to. I'm going to shut this off real quick so I can get the uh, hose on there to divert the water somewhere else so it doesn't all go right back into my pond. But this is day one. Okay, this is a day three report. I wasn't here on day two. Um, you can see by the leaves, we had a hailstorm come through yesterday. The pump sitting right there does not appear to be damaged. It wasn't a severe hailstorm, but uh, had some three-quarter inch hail in it. As you can see, the output is significantly reduced today, but it's not uh, completely plugged up. And I do have a discharge hose on there, still not going over to my uh, little flower bed. But I just show you the difference in the water, if we can see this. I can see it. I can't tell if it's on the display or not, if it's picking it up. But you can actually uh, see the pot that the lilies are coming out of see all the holes in the lilies where they get beat up you can actually start to see fish in there now there's a few goldfish visible in case you missed this this is the diverter valve on the top turn it over here now the discharge is coming out right here on the ground and I'm going to turn this little crank right here and we'll, I'll show you the discharge water, turn the handle a couple more revolutions. And you can see the stuff starting to come out. The water's really brown. Even little chunks of stuff are coming out. And I think this will make great plant food for my little flower garden that I'm gonna put in. But you can see that's pretty nasty stuff. So this probably all the dirty water you want to see right now. Now I'm going to show you a little better view of the bottom of the pond. The camera set up as close as I can to the same place but you can see the the pots there that the uh, lilies are growing out of and you can even see some of the goldfish down there. Those are probably two, two and a half feet deep something like that and uh, you're getting it's getting to a point where you can start to see them now couldn't see them at all the other day unless they came to the surface so this again is day three once you let this run for a while and you will have to let it run for a while because it basically is just bypassing the filter breaking all that stuff loose and if you don't let it run for a bit it's just going to run dirty water back into the pond. It's not completely clear, but it's clear enough. And I've got limited time today. So this is day three of the CPF 2500. If I got that name right, if I didn't, I'll put it up on the screen. Might put it up on the screen anyway. And stand by for day five report because I'll be gone for two days again. Okay, we're looking at the end of day number five. As you can see, the water flow is a little bit slower. You can see the fish a little deeper in the water. And you can see there's the plants. I've got a few new leaves um, coming up on the lilies here after the hailstorm. All those are just tore all up, but I do have some new ones. And I don't think anybody really cares to see the dirty water. When I turn that handle, turn the diverter valve, we're going to have more dirty water. I'm not going to show you that today. Just happy I can actually see some stuff on the bottom on the other side. And I'm going to get a, a net and clean some of the, the hail debris from my trees out of here. But I can see down on the bottom down there, there's a leaf or something on the bottom. I could not see even the plant shelf. You can see that whole plant shelf now. Let's zoom this back out. You can see the whole plant shelf all the way around. And the filter box is easy to see. 
I'm pretty optimistic at this point. So what I did is I put a little piece of clear hose on here. It runs over to what's going to be my flower bed. The discharge water comes out over there. The purpose for this clear hose is so that I don't have to run over where the discharge is to see when the water starts to run clear. So you hit the diverter valve. And you can see the water going through there. And as I start to turn this handle, that should get dirty. So you can see the debris from the pond as it starts to go through. It doesn't seem to matter which way you turn this. The water gets really dirty as it back flushes the filter. I'm not going to bore you with the whole process. Turn that for a little while and then you can just watch this and when it starts to clear back up then you're, you've got most of the debris back washed. So it's starting to clear up now. And then you can run the water back into the pond. And if it doesn't have to be perfect, but you can see it's starting to clear up pretty quick. I'm not going to bore you with the whole cleaning of the filter. It'll probably take another minute or two. Just wanted to give you an indicator of what you're looking for on this. So overall, what do I think about this? I like it. Um, I think if you saw in the background, I had a separate uv clarifier i don't know if i'm going to need to run that this one's got a pretty small uh ir bulb on it we'll see how that turns out but it looks like it's working pretty good if you saw the first video clip I, the the filter for the waterfall wasn't keeping up at all and i didn't have any uv clarifier on it this is playing catch up so i think once it's caught up I think it's going to do a great job. That part, if I find anything different than that, I'll make another video down the road somewhere. But as of right now, I'm going to give this thing a thumbs up. If you have a bigger pond, I'd go with a slightly larger model. I'll put a link to the one that I've got. Uh, this one's made by Sun. There's several others out there that look almost identical to it. So I just went back to the people that actually make the thing. See how that works out for me in the long run. If I have any problems with that, I will also make another follow-up video. If anybody's still here, I appreciate it. I got some other videos I'll uh, throw up, and maybe there's something else you're interested in on the channel. If not, uh, I'll catch you down the road somewhere. Appreciate it.